Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mrs. Smith88. So today I have a video for you guys that is a little bit different, a little bit out of the normal. Usually I do perfume videos, usually I do candle videos. This time around I'm going to do a coffee bar haul for you guys. So recently my husband did ask me, what do you want for Christmas? And almost every year I pick out a kitchen appliance. That's by choice. He doesn't like force me <laughs> into a kitchen appliance. That just tends to be my jam. I know in the past I have gotten my Ninja coffee pot. I have gotten my KitchenAid mixer. This year I wanted a Nespresso. I do apologize. I have some little companions today in my video. We have some Trixie visiting. <laughs> And we have <laughs> Gunner, you want to say hi? And we have Gunner. So if you hear dogs running around, these are my little dachshunds. So anyways, back to what I was talking about. This year I decided to ask for a Nespresso as well as, I won't lie, I asked for a bread maker too. I figured I wanted both because I want to make bread for my family, but I also needed an upgrade to my Ninja Coffee Pot that he bought me about four years ago. Anymore, I feel like my coffee is watered down. I wanted to go the espresso route. And so I decided to pick out all the stuff for a coffee bar. And I wanted to share with you guys what I got. This is going to be a two part video as everything is not in. And either in the second part or a third video, I will show you guys my actual coffee bar setup. If you guys are curious of what I got him for Christmas, I'll go ahead and touch base on that really quick because if you guys see, there is a model car right there. So this past year, we bought our first classic car. We bought a 1970 Nova. There were a couple of parts that he wanted for the car to upgrade. So that is what he got out of me. So let's go ahead and get into this haul. I got stuff from Home Goods. I got stuff from Wayfair. And I got stuff from Amazon. So over here in the big box, I'm going to try to insert a picture. I did get this beautiful, beautiful stand that my husband now has to put together from Wayfair. Got a really good price on it. It was about $142.99. Definitely matches my aesthetic. It is actually like this color of wood, so almost like a walnut color. Has like near cabinet doors. And then it has like this laser cut detail. I'm actually going to slide the back of it onto my laser before it gets assembled and cut a hole that way if I decide to put a countertop ice maker down in my cabinet I can feed the cord through. So that is the first item. Let's see if I can shift my camera so you guys can see a little picture. So there is a little picture of the cabinet. Like I said $142.99 for that. I will try to add a picture of it in so you guys can see what it looks like. Let's go ahead and talk about the actual big item. We got a crazy deal on this. This is the Nespresso by Breville, and I probably mispronounced this. This one has the Aeroceno in it. This originally, I think on the website, is over $200. I've seen it on sale for Black Friday for about $134. I got so, so lucky. If you guys can't tell, the box is beat on this. It is taped up and everything. But I happened to stop into my home goods and they had it red tagged. Red tagged for $89. So $89 for Nespresso. Manager and I, we opened up the box. We went through it. Everything was intact. It even had the sample coffee in it. So for $89, I absolutely could not pass that up. While I was there, I did decide to buy some syrups. I did unwrap them and then I threw them back in the bag. That way I just show you guys. So I picked up three syrups. I do have more syrups on the way as well as more sauces from Tarani. I ordered directly from Tarani. I also have some espressos coming from the physical Nespresso website. So let's go ahead and take a look at these syrups that I bought. The first one is vanilla bean. So I have never had the Tarani vanilla bean. I have never had Tarani syrups in general. When I used to buy syrups, I used to actually buy them directly from Starbucks. I've been trying to get them to sell me their caramel brulee syrup because it is absolutely phenomenal. That is my favorite flavor of coffee right now. So I'm hoping that I can kind of recreate that with this vanilla bean and a caramel flavor. So like I said, vanilla bean, and these were priced really reasonable at 
um, home goods, $7.49 on the Tarani website. I think they're about $11 a bottle. And there is always a 10% off coupon. I believe over $59 is free shipping. So I decided to obviously place big enough order to get free shipping. So that is syrup number one. Syrup number two, I thought butter pecan. Oh my goodness. I'm like butter pecan has to be absolutely amazing. They had one called Belgium cookie. I wanted that one so bad. And then I realized it was sugar free. I personally, I don't like sugar-free products. I know a lot of people do because obviously you don't have the added calories in there, which is great, but I do not like the taste of artificial sweeteners. So I just buy regular full flavor. So if I ever find the Belgium cookie that is not sugar-free, I will definitely pick that one up. Last but not least, when it comes to the syrups, I went ahead and I grabbed the toasted marshmallow. Curious to try this in coffee, but I also bought it for hot cocoa because my daughter does not drink coffee. I wish she drank coffee with me, but she doesn't. So I told her, I'm like, hey, I think this would be a great addition to your hot cocoa. Put a pump of this in your coffee cup, run your hot water in your cocoa, and boom, you got like toasted marshmallow flavored hot cocoa. I think that will be like absolutely phenomenal. So let's go ahead and get into the Amazon box. I have a big <laughs> Amazon box here. Like I can't even get it on camera. Nothing too crazy in here. I do have some more items coming from Amazon as well. So I have not bought a countertop ice maker yet. Not sure if that's the route I'm gonna go. Waiting to see if I end up catching one at a good price point. I would ideally like to spend under $50 on it. But for the time being, I decided to buy an ice cube tray off of Amazon. So this is the ice cube tray I bought. My dogs are definitely curious. They think that everything is a treat that is coming out of these boxes. So this is a three tiered ice cube tray. And you can use this container to store your ice in after you make it. Comes with a, sorry, my dogs are knocking my tripod over. It comes with a little, um, scoop for you to scoop the ice out and then it comes with your round ice cube trays. This was $10 on Amazon. If I remember, I will have it linked below. I thought it would be cute to have those cute little ice cubes in my coffee because I guess I am that person. Moving on. So I've seen in TikToks where people put these in their lattes. I have never tried it. I am a huge fan of just eating these and it's going to be so hard not to actually eat these and only use like one a day in my coffee. This is the Lint by Lindor Milk Chocolate Truffles. My daughter and I absolutely love these. Once again, this was right around the $10 price point. This is a 15.2 ounce bag. I went ahead and I grabbed it on Amazon. Amazon Prime, just so easy. Have it delivered to my door. Don't worry about like forgetting it at the grocery store. So I did grab those. And then I think I only have two items left. This one is hot cocoa for my daughter. The nice thing about the Nespresso is you can run hot water right through it. So my daughter will be able to use the coffee bar as a hot cocoa bar as well. I'm going to make sure I have some cute little additives there for her. And this I think was really cheap. I think this was $5.99 for the big tub of Swiss Miss. So the last thing is this massive box. This is why it came in a big box of 24 ounce. And these are like plastic cups, kind of like what they put your coffee in at Starbucks with lids. For the most part, I don't travel. I'll be drinking out of kitchen glasses on a day-to-day -day basis. But on the weekends when I'm running errands and I want to be able to take my coffee with me, I thought it would be a great option to have these cups. It was $16 for a set of 100 of these cups. So obviously this is going to last me probably the whole, whole, whole year. Um, it does, okay. Plastic cups and strawless lids. So it does have the sipping hole. Does not come with straws, which is absolutely fine. So that is everything that I got for round one of building my coffee bar. Like I said, I will go ahead and do a second video. In that video, it'll be the Tarani syrups, the Nespresso coffees I picked, 
as well as I do have, I think, two more items coming from Amazon. So keep an eye out for that video. And either in that video or a follow-up video, I will show you guys what my coffee bar actually looks like when I'm done with it. So thank you for watching. Bye, everyone.